Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you share it with all your friends. If you check out the description bar, there's always information in there. If you want to join the chat box, it is $1.99 to join. And I would love to have you as a member to enjoy and interact with me in exclusive live streams. Otherwise, the only other thing you can do to support this channel is to keep watching and be a part of the fun. So today I am showing Baby Major. Major Pooh is the Sam Sculpt by Gudrun Legler. And I am super, super excited um, to finally get him changed out of this little outfit. I just loved him in the soft yellows and white and gray it was just hard to get him out of it but I'm excited to see what he's gonna look now in the outfit that Aspen had on so I don't know if you guys do this or not but for me I will take an outfit straight off of one baby and put it on another baby I always feel like they, the outfit somehow just seemed to look like a whole different outfit on the other baby and it's my way of really utilizing and you know, taking advantage of the clothing that I've, um, you know, the clothes that I have for the babies because they, t we tend to buy all these clothes and then I know for me, once I see it on the baby like once, twice at the most, but usually after I see it on them once, I really don't care to see it on them again unless it's like one of my favorite, favorite outfits, I might go back to it. But I just really don't particularly care to have my babies repeat them. And that's why, and I know some of you guys are about to say, oh my gosh, that's just wasteful and maybe just petty. But that's why I usually end up donating them to real babies. And of course, it's even better for them because the outfit is only worn one time and by a dog. I got to step away because I need to get a diaper. Because I didn't get a diaper. Because I didn't get a diaper. I'm so sorry. I don't know why I didn't do that ahead of time. But anyway, guys. But like I was saying, um, yeah, I like to share my outfits with, you know, the babies. I'm really into these diapers right now. So I'm kind of like changing all my babies into those diapers right now. <laughs> so he doesn't have a tummy plate like Aspen. So, which is fine because tummy plates to me is more for just photos. Um... But I feel like I'm kind of getting to that point of building my collection to there are some babies that I do know for certain that are babies that are just straight up keepers. And then there's babies that I am like, mm, I might could let that one go one day down the line or yeah, this one is definitely one that's, you know, on the fence, maybe <laughs> just like. You know, you might want to say I'm fostering it a little bit or whatever. Um, but I do know that there are some that definitely will stay. Like Phoebe, I'll never sell Phoebe. Um, Lily Grace, I'll never sell Lily Grace. Um, definitely my private collection. Um, and, you know, there's just, you know, like I said, a few. Um, there's one that my mom really, really wants. And I'm... On the fence, I may end up letting her have it just because I just might. Um, but I don't know. But um, yeah, so there's there's just you know a few that I um, just think that I will keep. Um, I would like to think that I would keep Luca forever, but that may not even be. Um, but we will see. I think he is going to be a, a keeper though. Um, so we will see. Um, I, I definitely really, really, um, want to have some babies in my collection that just stay. That, you know, that you guys will, <laughs> you guys will know them they will be like Paris Mia Moore everybody knows Paris Mia Moore and she's been with me eight years um at least and you know it's like she's not going nowhere type thing 
So you guys like know she's not going nowhere. Like people already, you know, I've um baby blessing, you know, babies like that. Um I think major is is definitely one that will stay too. And the reason why I say that is because for whatever reason, even though he's a little bit lighter than what I was as a baby, um he something about his his um coloring and stuff reminds me of my baby picture that I seen. And of course it was an old, you know, rusty dusty picture, so it, you know, I, I, what I see and what I really was might be totally different. Because my mom always tell me that I was darker as a baby and I, I got lighter and my sister was lighter and she got darker. So, um, yeah, so I don't know, but... I just I I love I love this sculpt I love him, and so I definitely you know I I definitely see him being forever. Aspen, um, just certain ones for different reasons will be definitely keepers. Um, so I just I just want to I want to keep building on that. So I'm going to be painting, like I said, as soon as I finish these customs, I will be painting like a lot of kits and some I will keep and some I will let go. Look at him. Let me put your little hat on, little baldy. <laughs> I didn't bring you another hat, so this is just going to have to do. I don't mind him being bald. He is going to get rooted eventually. But I don't mind him being bald just simply because he's a boy and I just think he's just adorable with or without hair. I love this sculpt. That's just my thing. He's like one of my favorite sculpts. Um, but yeah, so and I'll put him on this. I think um, Aspen really look good in these colors because they're, you know, very the bright and... I mean, it's a dark blue, but it's still kind of bright with the yellows and the other pastel colors, springy look. But I think he does well in it, too. Oh, I do kind of like him more in the baby look, more softer clothes. Um, but... That's how I like all my babies. If you, when you catch, if this, this video may go up before the other video and you'll see, um, I changed, um, Aspen in, um, something more baby. This, uh, pacifier, the, the, uh, magnet is in the wrong spot. So I usually, it must be was made for a baby with a, magnet up higher but I usually put my magnets at the bottom it's like on their chin so that it fits flush against their mouth this one is a little bit higher so therefore it doesn't fit like it should it should fit like that that's how it should. so it goes like that but I, I don't I don't like I don't necessarily like that <laughs> so anyway that is major and like I said he's he was just super sweet there's you know like I said it's, it's risky things different things that I took chance with his coloring and you know hands and feet and all that stuff and it usually works out but sometimes it doesn't <laughs> and when it doesn't it doesn't it'd be like um girl what did you just do to this baby like I will really ruin a doll for real um experimenting but that's my little boy. Look at him. I just, I, I just love him. There is like, I don't know, nothing about him that I wouldn't change. I actually abandoned my other Sam kit that I was painting. I am going to finish it um, alongside with the giveaway baby, the Gabigail. Um, so, oh, I should have brought that hair. So I can show it on camera, but I'm going to 
I, I've been collecting mohair. So I've been collecting like different colors of mohair, different curl patterns. I'm really trying to get the right curl pattern for um, Ashby and the right color. So I gotta let her mom just decide. Um, it's like I got one that I think it might be, it might be a little too light and then I got one that might be a little too dark. And I'm trying to see if I can get the color in between today. And if not, you know, I'm just going to go with the flow because next week I need to get her started with her rooting. So I'll be rooting her one part of the day and I'll be painting the other part of the day. So, and that's it. Once I finish rooting her and finish painting this other baby, I'm done with customs. So, but anyway, I love him. Don't y'all love him? Like, he is so sweet. Um, and that's another thing. Like, I really want to get into painting some different sculpts than the same sculpts by the same sculptors. Because I'm realizing that um, I don't think that I'm, like, really reaching my full potential if I don't explore other faces, other you know, sculpting styles as well as trying my, you know, different painting styles on different babies. Because, you know, this same skin tone on another baby might come across very different. You know, I don't know. But that's the part, I mean, it's like, that's the part that I love is like the whole creativity of it. And I know I'm talking about this a lot and I'm talking about it a lot in my videos. It's because it's, it's something that's really on my mind. I've got so many ideas, like, pressed down in my head like I just I just want to go like kill a mad on painting like I'm literally wanting to take vacation again <laughs> um I took vacation so that I can work on a personal baby but um I end up working on both my personal baby and customs but I want to take another vacation and just after I get through with all my customs a vacation for my full jo full-time job and just paint like because I have so many ideas and so many things I want to try out and I I you know I I can't I can't experiment yet so it's like I'm just excited I can't wait you guys have no idea I'm so excited um I also ordered my other gifts for the other people names that I drew um that I pulled as well for the giveaway um, cause I pulled a gift, a winner for the, the reborn and also pulled other names out of the, um, chatterbox membership for another gift for other giveaway items. Um, and so I did that and I, I, I've ordered the, the items that I want. So once they come in, I can start at least getting those out. Um, so I'm, I'm just excited. Um, I, I got a lot of stuff planned. And I also, um, some of you guys may know, I also am starting back vlogging on my second channel. Um, I'm only going to upload like once a week or twice a week um, on my other channel. But that is going to be a non-doll related channel, um, channel which is um, called Miss Girl What. And so I'm, you know... I'm just, I'm not going to add, I, I noticed that I like to add all these different things and I can't maintain all of them. So I'm not going to put too much on myself, but, um, vlogging and like doing the videos for me is my downtime and relaxation time to take my mind off of other things and real life things. So this, you know, when I do this stuff, it's kind of therapeutic for me. So where other people might be like, oh, you're trying to do too much. No, this kind of actually something I enjoy doing, you know, doing videos and talking. I used to blog, like write out blogs. Um, and I stopped and I deleted my whole blog after like five years. So um, that will ch other channel will probably kind of feel that purpose. So we'll see how that go. So... Um, definitely going to be adult material on that channel. So we're going to um, just keep keep it moving. We're getting closer. I can't believe I've done as many babies as I've done in the amount of time that I've done. Because some of you guys don't even, haven't even seen. Because I do paint some time for private collectors as well. So, um, yeah, I've had to get out a lot. <laughs> and I'm so happy though. And, uh, you know, and... Um, 
So, and Finn should be showing up to his mommy soon. So we're probably gonna see a box opening if she does a box opening of him. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm always on edge until the mommy gets the baby and see him in person. Cause seeing them on pictures, we'd be like, oh, I love them, love them, love them. See them in person is a whole nother thing. So I just, you know, I don't really exhale until after the babies make it to their mommies. So that's that. Um, yeah. Um, I, th I think I'm pretty much done though. I prob probably most likely won't do any more customs ever. Um, but I did enjoy the experience. I think I'm I'm pretty much done. So um, I will listen, keep my ears open for suggestions. I know there's people wanting the sage. And if I can get a hold of one, um, I don't know if more people want sage boy or sage girl. But if I can get a hold of one when the last batch come out, I think it might be on the last batch. I might try to get one um, to paint. Um, I know there are some other sculpts out here that's by different sculptors that people are asking about. If I can get my hands on them, I may actually paint them so that I can, you know, put it up for sale. Um, just because I just, I really enjoy the painting part. So, I don't know. But, um, I'm also exploring different skin tones too. So I'm not going to be just, um, I want to be able to paint any skin tone from you know, Caucasian to AA to light to dark to in between. Um, so that's where I'm at. And I do have a cuddle baby that I'll be painting as well. But I don't know if that one's going to be a keeper for me or not because <laughs> I really bought it for myself. So um, I will see you guys later. Again, this was a long video, I know, but I'm not able to make as many videos as I have been. So hopefully you guys still enjoy them. And we'll talk later. Bye-bye.